SPLOS 7. Mr. Pritchard. Mr. Chairman and Commissioners, you have in your packet a SPLOS 7 resolution between the um, county and the cities, and I've asked Walter to give a little more detailed information on this. Walter. Uh, this resolution begins by reimposing the tax effective uh, January 1. Uh, it also specifies the uh, purposes of the tax, which are the projects of the county and each of the cities that were also set forth in the SPLOST agreement. Um, it specifies the time period of the tax, which is six years. It specifies the total estimated cost of all the projects, which is $150 million. And then it goes on to request the election superintendent to call for the election, approves the form of the ballot, which is set forth in one of the uh, exhibits. It requests the election superintendent to publish notice of the election. And it also requests the election superintendent to hold the election. Um, uh, so this is the resolution that follows the agreement of the county and the cities to reimpose the tax. Commissioner, do we have any questions? To reimpose once it's voted on by the citizens. Yes, this, the, this reimposes the tax subject to approval by, okay. by the voters. Just wanted to clarify. Any other questions? One question really quickly, I don't foresee it happening, but in the event that one of the municipalities did not approve for lack of a quorum or whatever, what does that mean for us? Does that mean we have to wait? No. Um, the only city, in Lowndes, the only city that's actually necessary to the agreement is the city of Valdosta. Okay. Um, the, that is because under the law, an intergovernmental agreement is defined as an agreement between the county and cities with 50% or more of the municipal population. Okay. So for us, that is Valdosta okay. and only Valdosta. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you, sir.